Orthodox Christmas services are underway in Moscow and across Russia. Some three million people are taking part in celebrations now. Services on Christmas Eve herald the start of festivities. Let's talk more about this tonight. Catch up with Sarah Firth. She's at Russia's uh, main Orthodox cathedral here in Moscow. And Sean Thomas, who we've stationed at a 14th century monastery just outside of Moscow. Uh, Sarah, if I can come to you first, you're at the spiritual heart of celebrations, aren't you? What's the atmosphere there like tonight? We are indeed. We're here at the Cathedral of Christ the Saviour and the service here tonight started about an hour ago at 10 o'clock and this is the service for the Russian Orthodox Christmas Eve. And now at midnight they're going to be having the liturgy which is the Christmas prayer and it's thought that around 20 to 1 the head of the Russian Orthodox Church, Patriarch Kirill, will be arriving to lead this prayer. Now we're a few blocks west of the Kremlin and President Medvedev is also attending the service here tonight and there's a huge amount of people who've turned up for this service. There's queues around the corner of the cathedral. Inside it's very busy. It's thought around 5,000 people are going to be attending this religious service this evening. Sean, if I can come to you, the uh, monastery there, that beautiful 14th century monastery at is, as it is, has huge historical significance, doesn't it? Well, it certainly does. In 1398, Prince Yuri decided uh, that there should be a monastery out here in Zvenigorod, which is where we are, out on the Watching Hill. And so that is when this monastery is commissioned and built. And the first chapel, actually the saint uh, that uh, later was sainted, actually, uh, but the... Uh, uh, the monk who came out here to found this monastery is actually buried in the walls within the monastery in 1407, to give you a little bit of the history. Now, it still stands today, is still in use today, and in fact, there's even an orphanage out here, which we've been uh, able to have some time and have some fun in getting to know some of the kids out at the orphanage as well. But lots of rich history and culture and heritage and tradition out here, uh, and of course, a mass out here celebrating the liturgy as well. Hugely special time uh, for Orthodox believers. Sean, how is Christmas tradition here in Russia different from the way it's celebrated in the West then? Well, uh, the, the basic meaning of Christmas is the same, and that is to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. And of course, the most obvious difference is the date in which it is celebrated. Uh, here it is celebrated on uh, July, uh, sorry, January rather, uh, 7th, um, which actually coincides with uh, December 25th in the Julian calendar. So Orthodox traditions keep with the Julian calendar December 25th, which is when we uh, in the Western societies celebrate Christmas on the Gregorian calendar. So that's probably the biggest difference. But uh, in the Western societies, Christmas um, has grown to include some more non-traditional uh, things as well. And it has become a commercial item and a big sales holiday as well. So where non-religious people can enjoy the entire celebration in the spirit of Christmas. Here in the Eastern Orthodox religions, it is much more of a religious holiday. Uh, and in fact, the, the mass, the liturgy that's happening tonight is an all-night uh, service, in fact, going into the wee hours of the morning. Also, there's a fast that precedes Christmas, uh, the Christmas Eve fast, and then families get together for a massive feast, which includes a food that is representative of the 12 disciples, as well as a special bread, which represents the body of Christ, which is dipped in honey to represent the sweetness of life, and also garlic to represent the bitterness of life, to remind us of the good and the bad, and that it's all part of who we are. So, much more of a religious celebration here here in uh, Russia. In fact, we had uh, a look at some of the histories and traditions of Russian Orthodox Christmas, and this is what we found. These kids are hard at work preparing a pageant of puppetry to perform on Christmas Day. It's fun for me because it's hilarious when I manage to perform well. I like nice decorations. It's also interesting to see how people look at your performance. As with many Orthodox religions, the Russian Orthodox Christmas is celebrated on January 7th. And while Western celebrations have grown to include some more commercial aspects of the holiday, Christmas in Russia remains more of a religious event. Modern Orthodox Christmas is not much different, probably, from Catholic celebrations. And we also have fireworks and so on. However, our Christmas is a more cosy and warm family holiday. Even our Christmas carols have the spirit of home. 
Here at the Savino Staroshevsky Monastery, the message of Christmas may indeed focus on the birth of Jesus Christ, but that doesn't preclude the children of the orphanage here from believing in some basic Christmas magic. One Christmas night, when nobody was at home, suddenly, under the Christmas tree, a box full of presents appeared. It was a true miracle, as I still don't know where it came from. Decorating the Christmas tree is fun no matter when you celebrate Christmas. In this case, I've gotten a little bit too close to the tree. But the question is, why celebrate Christmas in January? And the answer lies in which calendar you use. Catholics, indifferent from Orthodox Christians, celebrate Christmas according to the Gregorian calendar, which was introduced later. When the Orthodox believers celebrate Christmas, one can feel that the sun has risen indeed and truthfully. All over the world, the counting goes according to the Orthodox calendar. Now, as the Orthodox Christmas meshes with the modern standard Gregorian calendar, both New Year's and Christmas fall into one comprehensive period of celebration for all of Russia, a time when communities all over the country can come together. Our children feel joy not only because they perform for the orphanage, but they also play for the whole town of Zvenigorod. When our orphanage was open, nothing special was organized on Christmas in the town, so their celebration was rather lean and dull, and we decided to make their feast more sensitive and bright. Therefore, our children present their performance to the whole town. Giving this group of talented young puppeteers a chance to spread their Christmas spirit. Sean Thomas, RT, Zvenigaru. Well, a bit of the history there of it from Sean. But, Sarah, tell us a little about Christmas celebrations in modern-day Russia. Bear in mind, of course, it, it wasn't recognised during the Soviet era, was it? No, it wasn't. Of course, yes, during the Soviet times, Christmas wasn't recognised at all. And actually, the cathedral here behind me was destroyed in 1931. Now, it was chosen as the site of a building that was going to be known as the Palace of the Soviets. Now, the construction of this building was never completed, and the site here actually became the world's largest open-air swimming pool. It wasn't until 1990 that the Russian Orthodox Church received permission to start rebuilding the cathedral and it was in 2000 that the completed cathedral was consecrated and it's certainly a very beautiful setting for the service here this evening. So it's only been over the last 20 years or so that Christmas as a holiday has been gaining recognition and certainly for the Russians it's a much more religious service. Here tonight the amount of people that have turned up are testament to that but for them it really is about family time and about celebrating this as a religious holiday. Sarah, Sean, a very special night, as we've been saying there, for uh, all Orthodox Christians uh, uh, throughout Russia, indeed around the world. Uh, we'll be coming back to you later for more coverage, and indeed reminding our viewers uh, we'll be bringing you a special program covering the Christmas celebrations, including a live transmission of the liturgy in Christ the Saviour Cathedral in Moscow next hour, here on this channel, RT.